I go on to the what's, fun stuff now. What's a really Irish name for a, bo- of a man or a boy? Uh, I don't know. Besides Nick? something like Patrick. Yeah, literally. Mick. Yeah, Patrick works. <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to walk? Michael, Mick, um, Mickalene is the name, but you would call him Mick. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Patrick. Um, I don't know. Mexican Yo, Mick. I just got the notification you're live. Find the whitest names you can find, and they're probably <clears throat> Irish. Chad. Unless it's like Benedict, and then that's like English. Chad is <laughs> Chad is not the one of the whitest names. Yeah, Chad, Chad's think? an American white name, though. Chad. <laughs> Blaine. Blaine? <laughs> I know a Blaine. <laughs> Keith. That's from, uh, Keith. yeah. Uh, Keith is kind of in the middle, though. I know, a, well, I know one black Keith. Boy, no, there's Keith. Actually, hold up. There's my boy Keith. Shout out to you. There's what? Keith Murray, and there's Keith Yo, Sweat. That's so three. Keith Sweat. Damn. Keith Sweat. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Keith, Keith Sweat was the man sweat. back in the day. I don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah. I love Keith I mean, Sweat. I, I, he, who didn't? I know he was whining, but he got what he wanted at the end of the song. Keith <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> I was never a big R and B fan. Like I can listen to it, but it was never like my go to. But why do you why though, do you right? hate why do you hate good music? That's what we want to know. You know, thank you. That's the only I question could, I was thinking. You know what it is? I think I blame my brother. Because my brother, that's all he did. Did he try to. touching you while playing R and B? No. So here's the thing with my brother. So he, I don't see R- nothing wrong. <laughs> Come R&B James. Not, so certain thing R and B's <laughs> played for certain times, right? <laughs> but he wrote it for me because he played it for everything. It didn't matter what he did. We'll be at the gym lifting weights. He's listening to boys, man, bended knee, lifting weights like he's like it's <laughs> like it's power. Right, there's a time and place. There. You're right. You're right. But so okay, it, my question like, is: Is he singing while he's doing this? While he's working out? No, you just can hear because he has the headphones so, so loud. Wait, so wait, wait. So he was singing "I Want It That Way" while at the gym working that's out. R and B. That's right, that that's not, yeah, that's pop. What the hell? Be that, would, that would be hilarious, though. I think we can all funny. agree, though. One R and B song we were all huge fans of was Tony Braxton's video. Pretty much. There was a I lot remember. of videos I was a fan no, of. I, 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 I like some songs from uh, Maya? All for One. You, oh my God, Maya. Yeah, no, she was in Cursed. One twelve. One twelve. Yeah. Black Street. Uh, Jodeci. Yes, and yes, Blackstreet, Jodeci, Casey and JoJo. Casey and JoJo was good songs. Yeah. yeah. Well, Casey and JoJo were on, in Jodeci, weren't they? they didn't yeah. they break off? Oh, yeah, they might have. You're right, yeah. Uh, what's, what you call it? What you call it? Uh, Cisco wasn't bad. He had a dope album. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Um, and was, he group, a, maybe, was he a group True or something like that? Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Drew Drew Hill. 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 That's, yeah, Casey and JoJo were Drew Hill. Or Cisco is Drew Hill. I can't remember, Cisco dude. Was Cisco, Cisco was Drew Hill. Cisco Cisco. Was Yo, the only Holy thing I know, shit. I used to own that CD because of the thong, the thong, thong, thong. Yeah, he broke <laughs> off and became the dragon. That Enter the dragon. dragon. That was a dope song. Dude, yeah. remember that song from Rush Hour Drew Hill did with uh, uh, Jay-Z oh. and uh, what's her name? I can't remember. Leona, I think her name was. Um, uh, Can I get a fuck you? Uh, oh, uh, can I get a what? And the radio version was like, "Can I get a what? What? You know?" Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yeah. I remember, damn old school songs, man. See, that's the Yo, good it, music. It was that, fuck that. It was great. And here's the thing. Here's why I say that. I remember back in the day, and we all fucking did this. We all did this. Yeah. yeah. You get a blank tape. You yep. put that radio yeah. on. And you will fill that fucking tape up both sides of it and grab another one. Not only will you do that, you didn't hear your one song you've been waiting to hear all fucking day. You're calling that radio station to request that bitch, and you're not turning that fucking radio off until you hear your shit played. And you I hit record, to... and you boom. We had a radio Dude, station, Fly 92. I used to record the top 10 all the time. Yes, yeah. Fly 92, 96.3, 88.3, when they were all good. Just what, those three alone. What about we cultivating a mixtape like, for a girl? Before you guys rub it in, oh, there make, you go. Make a mixtape and crank it out first before you rub it in. No, 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 because you guys are gonna say all the fucking stations you guys had out between Jersey and New York City. I don't oh, give yeah. a shit. I was, I wasn't gonna say none because I didn't want to seem, you know, like I was being 
know, you want hot ninety seven. Hot ninety seven. Summer, or... summer Jam. Hell Remember yeah. Summer Jam? That was awesome. Dude, awesome. one hundred three five KTU. Yeah, yeah I KTU. To I used to listen. No, no. Q- Wasn't it Q one hundred four point three or that Mix one hundred four? And then I uh, K Rock Capital Region. K Rock. Z100. Z100, yeah, yeah. The oh Z God. Morning Zoo. I mean, I'm K- sorry. K Rock is where uh, Howard Stern was all, for like 20 years up until he ended. Yeah. Hmm. I say that more for the non New York knowing people out there. <laughs> the one the one person watching in Nebraska. Hey, there you go. You're welcome, Nebraska. <laughs> people are watching. I'm like, is this what? Horse, the fuck are these <laughs> you got some New York knowledge. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is a this is a horror show, but this also can be a very educational show. It can also fuck your education up. It, it goes in many different facets it, and directions. It's just, and it's just showing our age. I was talking about music and everything. And movies and DVDs and VCRs and shit. I want to go back to those days. I, really I can show you my paying age. bills. My he wants he wants to relive the days of the opening scenes from fucking Ninja Blade. Turtles Part One. Oh. <laughs> he wants he wants the smoke coming out the fucking street covers. He wants the delivery mm-hmm. man the the box truck open and shit falling off the truck and <laughs> the spray who, paint who, who, everywhere. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want I'm that? I'm with it, That's man. Yo, I'd be looking right. at that shit. I had Domino's pizza recently, and I was thinking about that scene, and I was like, I wonder if the pizza tastes different back then went versus what it was now. One of those times. I like, used to time know those here. movies word for fucking word. Like, if I go and watch them now, I kind of can pick up on it. I'd have to watch it a couple times. But back in the day as a kid, word for fucking word, Joe, because I'd watch that shit so much. Just, oh, my God. Dude, pizza in movies and, and uh, especially Ninja Turtles. And yo, cartoons, it was the, yo. They made pizza look so good. Listen, like so cheesy, like it stretches and shit. Yeah. Like, yo, when, when, you, when you those nights when you watch the Ninja Turtles with your friends or whoever you watch them with, and you got to get some pizza and some soda. Myself, I didn't have friends. And some, sometimes, hey, even by yourself, it's still fun. But sometimes <laughs> you need to cheese pull for of, you. You should have hit me up, James. Yeah. Should have had black friends. <laughs> <laughs> I would invite you to the party right from day one. But no, like you almost felt like you were there. Like there would be times I swear to you guys, I'd be like, all right. Let me let me go get my pizza. Let me get it ready. Let me get it warmed up now because the pizza scene's getting ready to come up. I want to be eating my pizza when they're eating their pizza and all that shit. Just just because you're a kid, you're like, oh, this is cool. This is fun. And I'm like, oh my god! Like going back to that, we, I think we need to do like an Ninja Turtles watch party and have some fucking pizza and just watch the movie and eat some fucking enjoy some pizza. I think that's what we need to do in the near I'm future. In. I'm in hundred percent. In the near fucking future, we need to do that and then play Why NHL ninety six. Nah. And- <laughs> Well, I want to be a part of it. WrestleMania 2000 on the N64. No, back to the beat. WCW, back to the beach. Okay, on the game, okay. No, on the N64. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to be over I never played Soul. back to the beach. Game. But I did what play. What movie are you watching that night? Ooh. Which movie? So, like, say we're all doing Scream. it. We're all old school in it. Scream 2. That's a good one for a night like that. It's fun. Um, Scream still has that creepy. Sturdy's like no, no. No, nah. I'm not gonna bash your answer though. That's your answer. No, yeah. Oh, um, you're watching it and on Hangout yeah. Night. You gotta watch it. Oh, uh, oh, I'll yeah. watch it. Just I'm not. I'm just telling you. I'm not. Oh, a on Hangout screen Night. Screen. If we have a Hangout Night and do watch parties once in a while, that'd be fun. We should. Yeah. The pizza boxes open. The fucking soda bottles mm-hmm. popped. What we're we should really do regretting it, it for the entire week. Great. We should question. have watch parties each week when we can. That doesn't have to be every week, but like when we can, we pick a movie and we watch it on our discords. Yes. And you know, yes. and then we can like, so like, you know, if I pick a movie, it's on my discord. Chris picks a movie, it's on his discord. You pick a movie, it's on your discord. James picks a movie, it's on Popcorn it's on and Pipes discord. discord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's on someone's discord. No, we'll put on we'll make a popcorn and pints one. We'll make a pop. What we'll do? For, what we'll do with that? We'll make a popcorn and pints one, James. And if me or you pick a non-horror one, we'll boom popcorn and pints. If we do horror, right, horror or search thirty. Why don't you do popcorn and pints and search thirty together and create that community together? Because most of your viewers that's are genius. That and it'll make it way fucking easier. 
That's fucking yeah. genius. There yeah, you, you don't want to pull people too many different links. No, yeah, that's, that's genius. That's I mean, yeah, because the ones, the four of yeah, that's just fucking, that's so simple. Yeah, whenever it's a horror one, Horror with Search 30 Tonight presents, and then whenever it's a non-horror one or two, it's Pop Today Popcorn Pints yeah. Pint Tonight presents. Or what I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm never, I veto it, and if anybody brings it up, it's like, no, it's the rule, it's the rule. This has to be a rule now. It's amendment. You can I'm never. Sorry, I already never, said I'm sorry. No, you can never pick the sound of music. Oh, 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 oh. oh I all, agree. Right, all right, all right, okay, 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 okay. Let's let's say something. Or Blood Lake. No, 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 no. If there's a collective Patreon though, and you guys want us to watch these watch these movies live with us, then we're talking something different. If there's a collective Patreon thing, I'm saying. We all have a certain tier. You subscribe to each one of our tiers. We'll do those watch parties for you. Boom. Just put it. Put that. Put that. And put that. Sign that somewhere. I think that's an amazing He's idea. Sign that somewhere. <laughs> you want us to watch those um, shitty movies? I mean, how bad do you want us to watch? I don't uh, know. My, my I think that deserves a block. That that's 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 a sorry block. Appreciate nah. your support. See you in another channel. Nah. 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 Uh, no, nah, but I think it'll be fun. But no, but like for for these ones though, for the for the for the ones in the Discord that we're talking about now, no, none of that shit. We want to enjoy. We want to have a good time. Actually, we want to enjoy it. Watch some. And if I'll, we watch I'll, some, some bad I'll, shit accidentally, that's fine. But I don't want to like just purposely throw those out there. I'll add one more. I will host a very special episode of plot roast with all of us very afterwards. Fantastic. So we can like review it there and like make fun of it. Yes, bear chested. So why don't we? I mean, of course, we have to talk first. Search get our skins. Get permission to get the permission slip slime and all that. But I mean, if you wouldn't mind, like either in place of or make it like a part of Mick at Night thing or something, or we can like, call it something if you want, and boom. We'll just do some nights where, like, if we don't do Mick at Night, we'll do plot roast. And then that way we could just cover the movie. And then, you know, because like Chris has Fortnite that night and we have other stuff. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this yeah, is going to be a good one. Look at this comment. What's up, Mr. Akikikikikik? Y'all should have a virtual Thanksgiving. Isn't that Rikiki? I want food. I want food. I want actual food. Well, we are. We're, act- we're, we're actually doing um, a show the day before Thanksgiving. We're going to be reviewing the movie Feast, shooting the shit, and just. Eating whatever anyone brings to the table is what they're going to be. You said eating. the movie Feast. Yeah, the good movie know, Feast. Good to know. I missed that. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was Thanksgiving. No, I said Feast later on in the chat, though. No, 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 no. I heard this when we were in our chat before this. Yes, but I didn't catch on the Feast before, so I thought it was Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, got it, got it, got it. All good. We were gonna do that, but just to make it easier, so everyone Shit. sees the movie. Feast is right on streaming. I don't know if everyone will be able to go out and see Thanksgiving. I don't know what everybody's plans are for the, you know these next few days or. Does it come out on Thanksgiving? No, it, it's already it's already out. It's out. I gotcha. I, yeah, I'm gonna go see it Saturday actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out too. It looks good. I think I, I like I like Eli Roth. I didn't like Green Inferno. Because I, I don't like Never cannibal watched. movies. They just like See, I didn't watch it, but there. me and James we reviewed Cannibal Holocaust, and <laughs> that was all. Uh, it was it was awful because it, it was fucked up. I was like, holy shit! Like it wasn't bad. Like to the it wasn't worse than Blood Lake in a weird fucked up way because there was at least something going on. But it was just the shit that was going on when you found out like these were real animals and shit. Like that's fucked up. Can I? Can I um interject one thing about horror movies at the moment? Nah. And I'm talking about the shut up, Chris. <laughs> <And> the, <laughs> I don't even have to look at the screen and know it's you. <laughs> uh, and 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 talk about the rise lately. And it's not even just horror movies. It like spans into dramas because Timothy Chalamet did that one, and uh, the, the, the 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 Mia Goth was in another one. Um, cannibal movies. It seems like there's a yeah. lot now, isn't there? There was one called mm-hmm. Fresh that came out recently. That's on Hulu. Nope. There's quite a few. What's that one? That, it was, I mean, uh, the old school one. It was like green. Soil and green. Yeah, yeah. that fucking. Yeah. 
A lot of human flavor stuff. Yeah, there was a lot of there was there there is a few that dropped it recently. And they even do yeah. it in like some of them even do it in weird ways. Like I mean all of it's crazy, but like weird, like the whole fucking town's in on it, but it's hidden and then you don't find out till you're fucking was yeah. wasn't there a new restaurant one where it was a high class restaurant where they eating people? The menu. The they, didn't the eat people. they didn't eat people. They oh, eat people. it wasn't eating people. Oh, no, the actually, I I have watched that movie seven times. Damn, I'm enamored good? by it all the I way am. through. I love oh, the God. themes of that movie. I love everything they do about that movie. It's the perfect thriller. It's the perfect horror. Mm-hmm. It's the perfect uh, um, even comedy in a way, a dark comedy. Uh, it, it, everything about it. I just loved every every performance in it was amazing. That is a ten film for me. I really? love the men. Yeah, I didn't watch that. I, I love, it. dude. I, I I say to anybody, get out and watch it because it's so fucking good. And at the end of it, I guarantee you'll be craving a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and me and the lady watched it, and we both enjoyed it. We were both like, "Yo!" the whole time talking to each, just looking at each other, like. Fuck. We paused there. She had to run out the room. Fucking like it was that good. We were waiting. Appreciate <laughs> you stopping in and uh, you know, have a great evening. You and the lady. Get home safe. No doubt. Don't forget the waffles on your way out. Okay, when you're coming back around frozen aisle, don't forget your waffles, your egos. You gotta Lego those. Like yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh some burritos. Ooh, and, later. I'll be there. And some burritos and Irish food for uh Mexican Mick. First of all, um, I I don't need to have Irish food. It doesn't well, have no, to it's be. Not for you. It's for Mexican. Potatoes and salad crowd and I don't I don't want corned beef tacos right now. You don't? No, no, no. It, no. But it's not for you. It's for it's for the Mexican version of you, Mexican uh... Mick. <clears throat> yeah, you're drinking the Guinness for your Irish version, and then you're eating the tacos for your Mexican version. Remember? <laughs> oh, we got a trade. <laughs> You know, you you eat the cabbage and uh, uh, corned beef and the, and the terrible Guinness, and then I will have drink the Dorito, like and Dorito. Pila and eat tacos and shit. I'm good. <laughs> like yeah, fuck that. <laughs> His whole family would be told him like, you you trade Spanish food for this shit. I was man? like, there's a reason when yeah. I won the lottery, I cashed <laughs> in for this color. <laughs> I think Irishman from who grew up in like North Jersey of all places. Um, the food's not good. <laughs> it's it's like it's good because like that's what we had, but you know? <laughs> and it made us appreciate like McDonald's a whole bunch more. It's you like shit Spanish from food. Rochester, the fucking garbage plate or whatever. It's like everybody makes this huge deal about it because it's this huge mash of like all these different foods on one plate. I. It, it's like ground up chili and burger and then fries and hot dogs and mac and cheese and it's all macaroni salad. Macaroni salad and then like uh mayonnaise, it, no, mustard, listen, ketchup, all just fucking it's good as shit. It, it sounds nasty, but it's good as shit. But I don't, I don't think mind it's like what up, chaos. I do think I don't mind mixing salad. food, but you do threw me off when you're mixing all the condiments with chili. I'm not with the chili, you I'm gotta do with it with you. Shit. So no, like, but it, you say that, but it, it's one of those things. Like, if you like, say something. Say if somebody brought you one fresh and had all on there, say, like, "Oh, just try it. You would love it." And I, yeah, and and I will say this. Like, just for somebody who like always liked to camp when I was younger, we used to make so. hobo meal, and a lot of that was like throwing it in in the aluminum foil and throw it right in the fire, and it was always just like scraps, whatever was in there. And those yeah. man, those always taste good. We usually did a breakfast one. It was like a whole bunch of eggs and whatever the hell else we had, and just yep. Up and there. any like extra, it was just kind of like get in there. Yep, yep. Good. So before we uh, chaos was good. Before we um, Dominique was good. Hang on, I'm high. Oh, uh, before we discuss the movie we're about to review tonight, I just want to let you guys know what's going on next week on Horror Research Theory. <laughs> First, you guys should know this: what's coming up Tuesday. It's tradition around here. <laughs> and I hope every single year I successfully get at least one more person to watch it. Watch them. I don't care if you love it or hate it. I just want to get at least one more person to watch these two films. 
Thanks Killing 1 and Thanks Killing 3. Now, you know I'm going to watch both of them, and you know I'm going to reveal both of them on the live Tuesday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Hope to see you guys there. Actually, I'm going to push it to 8.30 Eastern time, starting at 8.30. Just when you watch it, don't compare it to anything. Put it in its own category. I'll put it to you like this. If you're the age of of 21 and older and marijuana is legal in your state and you are a current marijuana smoker, smoke that first. Have an edible and watch these movies. You're gonna have a great fucking time. I'm, I wouldn't just make this shit up. Have an edible thirty minutes movie. before you watch the movie, so that there by no, the time you're not... twenty minutes into the movie, it hits. Jesus we are Christ. not. We are not sponsored by edibles, but we could be. Would love to. Be. <laughs> I like how you type yeah, in feast. <laughs> what did you expect to come up for feast? <laughs> and then feast. Yeah, I forgot to put movie. Wednesday. <laughs> Didn't pick a time yet. I'm still thinking. Yo, that cover but, looks pretty uh, badass, though. Right? It does. We're going to be d- discussing this movie right here and munching on something. Munching on something. Do you remember this movie? Do you remember? I um, have never seen this movie before. It kind of looks And here's something familiar. that's even funnier. Here's something that's even funnier. So I have to tell my boy Tony I'm finally reviewing this. He's been telling me for like the past four years to check this movie out and review it. <laughs> It he reminds me of something. You should check these. He like, you should check these movies out and review them. So what I think I should do right. is I would I would lie to you guys and say I'd watch uh, the Feast movie or Thanks Killing One and Three. What? Something right here. Uh, oh Wait, well, I, I'm going to guess it's. Uh, they said movie, so I'm going to guess it's uh, Thanks Killing Thanks Killing Three. Yeah. There's no. There's no part two. That's what it's fun. There's no show. Yo, they, they I spent like literally that. four hours that day looking for fucking part two. I was like, all right, let me go find the next one. Why is there part no th- part two? Part three is about looking for the movie part two. <laughs> yeah, it's so ridiculous. All right, so there's part one and part three. It's so fucking weird. So weird. But we love but it. It's a f- I, the uh, first movie to skip its own sequel. Yes. Yep. Basically. You're an idiot. Yep. <laughs> You're an idiot. Hey, James. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Actually, I kind of wish that uh, they took that approach with The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. Wow. You see? Genius. Genius. You're over here being off. I said beating off. No, I said yes. being off. And then Speaking I didn't say anything. After. No, Feast. Here's the, other movie. here's the other movie right here Feast. So, the special thing about Feast is do you guys remember a TV show called Project Greenlight? It sounds familiar. Mm. I, yeah, I was going to say it sounds familiar, but I'm not it, 100%. It was produced by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and put out by Dimension, right? So what they would do is Project Greenlight, they would pick a, they would um, go through scripts that were submitted and, but, oh, you put me up here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like where, why am I not on the side anymore? What happened? Um, so they would put the, uh, yeah, they would pick the script, find the writer, the director, and, you know, give them a budget. And it's all independent, and they had to, uh, um, you know, they helped. Like the whole point was like they sort of executive produced, and then they would help you build a team and, to, and make the movie and find people. So the whole thing was to kind of teach the process of filmmaking. It was actually a really great show. Hmm. Um, this one was like their second or third season, and this one was like uh, it was John Gulliger, uh, Clue Gulliger, uh, Gulliger's son. Who was the wrote and directed this? And Clue uh, Gulliger uh, is, I, I mean, from Return of the Living Dead, um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Two. I mean, the guy's royalty and uh, especially the horror genre um, and, and, and exploitation genre. So, uh, what they did was he was making a movie, but he gave a lot of problems throughout to all of them, especially money and like having fights with people. It's a great mm-hmm. season. It's probably their best season. And this is the movie that came from. It. Oh wow! Wow. So, <clears throat> long wow. Story that's, that's interesting. Mm. That's interesting. Figgity figgity feast. Let's move this. Love what? getting tidbits of information like that. Same here. Same here. But <clears throat> the reason why we're all gathered here tonight, people, is for this sex. Oh, the harbinger. 
That was a bad time to say sex. Whoever said that? Horrible timing. It wasn't Little me. Girl it wasn't me. Oh. James. Who's James? It wasn't me this time. He comes back, and all of a sudden, his mind is in one place. Oh, my gosh. Who, which one of you guys was listening to R. Kelly before this episode? Not me. Cut whoa, 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 whoa. I said sex. I didn't say anything about this movie. I didn't even watch it. I <laughs> saw hit us with <laughs> Daddy Chill. I don't even know what I'm <laughs> Daddy Chill. I know that fucking video. That's one of the funniest videos <laughs> So, <laughs> what is that? What even is that? I'm going to start with my complaints for this movie before I even give my rating. Mm. I didn't like the end. Like, the, what was it, like the last mm. five, the last... ten minutes? Yeah. Something like it was from when they started doing that singy, songy bullshit. Yeah. yeah I wrote then, it down. I said that it's cheesy. I was like, the end is so from cheesy. From then on. Yeah. My wife was like, this is, she was like, this feels so like Disney now. Yeah. For the way the movie was. There was that, and I know you didn't get to watch this one yet, Mick, but yeah. have you ever watched a movie that was good, right? It was a good movie, but you feel like the acting was, wasn't that great, you know, but the story was still told good. Everything was still I told good, but the acting could have been just I like a exactly shit. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I, I think we talked about this on my show once, where I, I believe there's levels of acting. That's acceptable in certain movies. Like, you can't make a movie with the level of actor that is in Thanks Killing and throw them immediately into like a Stanley Kubrick film Mm. and get the same quality or caliber. You know, like, there's something special about those actors, you know, and it's not to say that the Thanks Killing crew wouldn't build themselves up to be that level. It's just, I you're, you're not saying, at though. that level yet as an actor. It's not, you, you, we don't, but I can forgive that if it's a good story. Always. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Thanks Killing is actually based on true events. So, I mean, it's a great story, <laughs> but we're not talking about that. <clears throat> but no, like, well, but, but this movie had a really good story, it had an awesome yeah. story, actually. Yeah. I just wish it had better acting to really tell this story better. Cause I feel like if this, if this movie had better acting, I feel like this is one of those movies a lot more people would be talking about it. I the really main, feel that way. Okay, so the main I think, that, there's two that? characters that's bothered me the most. It was the main guy character. I got you, yes. And um, that old man. He was so weird. The, with the trench coat? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The girl, she was just creepy. She hardly talked through the whole movie. So she was fine. Yeah, she, the young girl. The, she was the, good. Yeah, she was fine. But, but, but. But one thing she did, though, James, one thing she did was, and I say this all the time, was like, when you have to sell that emotion, not just with verbal, but like with your body language and your face, she did that shit so well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I she, mean, she I, looked bad. soulless. She was like deadpan, yeah. like nothing. Her, and she had to be for those scenes. Yeah. She had to be yeah. for those scenes. And what, what what was crazy about it and what was like, I don't know if it was like her parents reaching her or what happened. Cause remember how at first she seemed like like when she was deadpan all this shit. She goes outside, she goes on the jungle gym with the other kid, the other kid's on the ground crying. Like you don't know oh, she's out there doing that. That bitch threw him off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And she she did something else too, didn't she? I know she killed a frog with her bare hands. Oh, yo, she smushed it. She's just yeah. like in front of mad it. kids. They all ran and started crying. She just went inside, and washed her hands like it was fucking nothing. Yeah, because she yeah, has like, no, uh, she has no soul or anything. So, so she well, anything to come with life, it's like nothing to her. Like if yeah, she didn't like something. Like the kid pissed her off, so she just threw him off the top of the fucking play set thing. Yep. Didn't care. Yep. So yeah, for one, I would like that play with my kid. Like, what's wrong? With, like, like now nah, you're yeah, stay away. Bro. But they didn't. They didn't know right away. They didn't know till like later on. But then you find out all this other shit about the father and the family and why things Dude, happen the way they just did. The just the creepy like, shit he says at dinner table and everything. I'm like, yo, that kid's not coming to my house. Yeah, exactly. That shit at the dinner table. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck? How's it going, Princess Rage? <laughs> what up? What up? What's going on? Yo, I did like yeah. her. Um, I did like her. Uh, what what would you call that? Um, her little mini story she said to her parents. Of that about the fly and the a roach. She was like oh. the fly. She said the fly. She asked the fly uh, if he wanted to come over for uh, dinner, and the roach went in the house and someone stepped on it. And while the fly was in the kitchen getting rotted meat, it came back, 
and it seemed the dead roach and it's in the, the, the it was too late to escape from the house the door was shut so it sat in the wall but then all of a sudden it splat it got hit with a fly swatter and and the father was like what's the moral of the story he's like it don't matter if you're the fly or the roach you all end up in the same place i'm like mm. god damn yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah she was fucking just like when she when she got into that mode like it got to a point where her her parents were terrified of her like you could just see it in oh, their eyes the way yeah. they were acting they were fucking shook <laughs> yeah no, this yeah. this well, this, this the, right here and especially the Princess mother. Rage, I'm doing good by the way. I appreciate you asking. How are you gentlemen doing? Chilling, we chilling. I'm okay. Doing good, doing good. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's the movie uh, Harbinger. Har har harbinger? Harbinger. Harbing Harbinger. Harbinger. Yeah, no, it was a it was a good movie. It was a good movie. By, by the way, there's it. another movie named same title and it came out the same 2022. Yeah, I was like, oh shit! I started watching it. I was like, yo, guys, am I watching the right movie? Sturdy's like, no, it's the other what? one. I'm like, oh shit! And they're both on the same two platforms too. Fucking yep. two B and Fiverr. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck is that shit? But no, I found the right one. The only reason is because I know the theme. So, and the cover stood out. So I was like, yeah, this is the one. This is definitely the theme. So I watched this one. It's, it's worth a watch. It had its quirks for me. The Again, the acting was part of it. There was a bit of a disconnect that kept losing my attention for a lot of the parts. But I got through the story. The story was decent. Would love to see this done in probably, I don't know if I should say more capable hands or maybe just more skilled hands. Or I don't know. I don't know what's the, the appropriate term to say without fucking acting like I'm bashing I feel like pieces. better acting. Just better acting in general would have helped this yeah. a lot. Okay, script real was quick, fine for, for you too and everything. It's just okay, for, for some quick, reason the portrayal real, just wasn't real there. Real quick for Mick because he didn't see it. The movie's basically about a guy made a deal with the devil. He becomes a harbinger, collects souls for the devil because mm -hmm. uh, he did something bad in order to fix it financially. He said, you'll never worry about finances again if you do this. So he signed the paper. But he didn't want to do the killing. He didn't want to uh, bring the souls to him. So the devil took the daughter's soul. So now she's soulless, going around like a zombie, like yeah, dead inside. Jesus. So to save her, he's trying to find a way to get her back. So the whole thing is like trying to figure out. Like they go to this one town that there's a twist with this town. We find out at the end. Hmm. Um, but there's this, um, there's this, uh, they call her a seer, not chaos. Um, mm -hmm. and she all, she tells all this, uh, like relics and everything and stories like how he could help her. They, he needed the dagger that was made by God or something like that. Jeez. Um, and you had to die in order to save a life or something like that with the dagger. Mm hmm um hmm. so yeah so basically this guy with this there, there was a tool called uh what did they call that tool it was a relic it was the harbinger tool did they have a name it had like a serpent going around the stick it had a serpent I, I'm, they called it something i know serpent was in the name but so, I forgot what, it. so, so you don't get name. caught like killing people they uh the devil made a thing where it makes it easy for people to kill for them where you just go to, like, say, you're a salesman, you go to the person's house, you drop this Sticky. relic thing, this stick somewhere, and hide it. It's It mm -hmm. makes a person kill theirself, commit suicide. Yep. Jesus. Yeah, yep. so so this thing, yeah, so uh, the devil, and there's more than one harbinger. We find out there's more than one harbinger. The yeah, devil has yeah, multiple yes. around the world. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to collect yeah. as many souls as possible. So he gets all these people. Okay. Dude, people See, I mean, he understands way, the, scaling and business. He gets it. The, the way they like, made the devil look was actually good. Was actually good in this movie. Like I was impressed. Yeah, with it, like, it wasn't that's bad. One yeah, of the wasn't bad. better. That's one of the better devil characters I've seen in a while. Because usually they overdo it. In my yeah. opinion, they always overdo it. And right here, I feel like they did it to their talent level. But at the same time, they did it right. They did it. And he had really two good. forms. He had the human form. Then he turned yep. into the demon form. Yep, to the devil. Oh, basically. cool. Okay, yeah. which one looked cooler? 
The uh, so no, the human 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 just, was just a bald dude, like a normal guy with a you know, with uh, normal yeah. clothes on and a suit, of course, like an asshole. He talked. And, he did have kind of a creepy look to him. Yeah, like the devil creepy, he looked like, but like, yeah, like a sleazy just, gangster. Yeah, like, like a sleazy, sleazy gangster. old gangster. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. But Probably then, somebody uh, seen in New Jersey. So the demon, they went old school. So it was red body. But the face and everything looked good, like the the makeup and everything looked good, and it was the furry goat half bob. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I this yeah. movie sounds really interesting, actually. It, no, it, no, it really it is, is pretty, good. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was shocked. I was like, with the story, I was Mick, like, this is a, this could, this is a pretty good I story. Fix? This movie right here would be perfect. <clears throat> did is, I fix? This is, yes, this okay. would be perfect. It's, it's not a bad movie. And I can f- see where you can kind of fill in oh, certain yeah, things. Oh, yeah, you'll get fill in certain yeah. things. But this, so- if someone took this and redid it, like they could really make this into like really good. I love that you said that right there, James. <clears throat> Here's what it co- like. I'm gonna watch remakes. I love remakes. All that shit. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like if you're gonna go for remakes, people, this is the type of movie you should remake. I know this is new, but I'm just giving you that example of where this movie, if it's put in, and no disrespect to the creators, because you guys did an amazing job. Put it, but put into someone else's hands that had more talent, more experience, maybe, and all that good stuff. This would, I feel like this like movie this. could be one of those. <laughs> no, 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 because they have more experience. More experience, you're going to get more, more talent. You, well, use the word more experience. Don't say more talent. <laughs> like, both if they're more talent, you know. Bo- both are true. More money. No, well, more no, that's what it is. Uh, well, more the butt, everything looked fine. Like, the, no, the, I'm not, I'm, but, but I'm, I'm not saying it didn't look fine, but it's going to cost more money to have Better Again, actors. More experience. That's a more thing. You need better you actors. You said better this time, James. I was saying more experience this time. I was going to go with the experience. Like no, you just say, coached me. Uh, and I'll told say me better actors. You have more excuse. More experience. <laughs> I can't say that. You're over here saying better. No, more experience. A more experienced team. A more experienced team. But yeah, this is definitely a great. Did I fix? Yeah. This is this. this, no, this I, one, I, this I really. Yeah, oh, I like it. Out. I like the story. I'm interested to check it out. Well, that's the thing. That's the only thing, though. If it's good for Did I Fix, it, it's a movie that needs to be able to be fixed. Like, so if it's like a really good story that works, yeah, the story does work. But there, there's some things that could be fixed in this whole in this movie overall. Well, is this like, an indie like film? even a story? Like, I think the story, the story, is I don't good, know, but I think it could be made even better. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I see what you're saying. Or I can't wait to check it out. Or, or told better. Maybe that's another way. Yeah. Like, told better. Told, yeah. Yeah. Because it was a good story overall. Like add a little like, bit more detail then. Yes. A little more details add, in there. I would say add more to the Harbinger thing. Yeah. Even if we don't know who's doing it, what the Harbinger is, but I kind of add more to that with the people, you know, with the, with the deaths and all that. And maybe just seeing the the, the, the thing. Just seeing the thing, the, the, the sign, but not figuring out about that until later in the movie, maybe like towards the... Almost where we found out about it actually was not a bad spot. But at least if we were introduced to it earlier a couple times, a few times. Man, no, they like, got oh, they shit. got me with that though, because they were like, I was like, who the fuck is dropping this stick? I thought I thought it was the daughter. I thought the daughter was going to the house is putting the fucking thing there. Yeah. Having and all these people that, die. The crazy shit. And that's the part I'm talking about. So the part so the thing with the daughter is when she Every time she like goes up and disappears, she's actually doing something good. And you find that out at the end. I don't want to spoil that too much because I really want you to watch this make and do what I need to do I fix. But like that right there, it's like, oh my gosh, which I did spoil, but hey. <laughs> it is all right. Oh, so this I don't is a non spoiler. Oh, don't ruin things for me. Oh, okay. This is not a non spoiler this is a spoiler or non spoiler show. <laughs> usually it's usually it's a spoiler, so I usually just like non filter just go. It doesn't uh, spoilers do not bother me. So if you want to okay. go in fact, right. I'm the type of guy who loves story so much, I prefer to not have things held back because like if I hear something that is good, I think will be really interesting, I need to go see it. Better. I hear you better. I hear good you. to know. Well, in that case, in that case, let's dive into this movie a little bit more then, fellas. What okay. were you gonna say, James? So okay, so like I said, I thought the girl was dropping a thing, but we find out the whole town is the retirement home for the devil for all his harbingers. When he's mm-hmm. done with them, he has them all go there, and they all don't know each are harbingers. So they're all sabotaging each other. They're dropping sticks in their own different houses, and they're all killing yep. each other. They were all harbingers. Everyone yep. in that whole town. 
Wasn't the town called? What was that town called? I forgot the name of it. Uh, it was like little. Was it um little? Little something, right? Yeah. All right. It wasn't like a negative name. I think it was like a positive. Like, wasn't it like little hope or something? Saint Hope or so, it's like something. I, I forgot. Hope. hope. I forgot what the fucking name was, but it was crazy. I was like, "Holy shit!" That was a twist I never thought was going to happen. Yeah, dude. All I know is this movie sounds awesome. I'm reading up on it. So here's no, another it, thing. It, it, I mean, it was all right. It was all right. So here's good. another thing too. So this this <clears throat> town, there's also another half where it's a uh, Native American land. The yeah. devil. Yeah. So back <clears throat> in the day. Long, long time ago, when the devil was on the earth walking, the devil, he, he was um made a deal with the Native Americans. So the if Native he goes Americans. on their side, he loses his powers. He can't kill have his their people kill each other. So, so the half down the middle of this town is like Native, Native American. So the, there's this uh Coliseum thing. Uh, no, it's not Coliseum. What's it called? Um, in a in a cemetery. Oh, mausoleum. Mausoleum. So half, yeah. So half of it is his side and their side. So they had to do the sacrifice thing with the daughter inside there to get him. To uh, so it's it, it's yeah, pretty chaos, fucking peace. cool. I thought that show was pretty cool how they did that. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna play the trailer. I'm gonna. I don't have the sound playing just for you know all that copyright shit, but. Yeah, and we can keep talking. We can keep the conversation going, but I'm gonna play the trailer for you guys. So you guys can check. Yeah, it talk out. through it because I mean, but, it shot well. I like the way this looks. It's, no, it was shot beautifully. Uh, I thought, yeah, it was I shot it was beautifully. And honestly, my favorite character in this movie was the little girl. I think she did the best. I know she didn't talk a lot, but just again, just with her facial features, uh, with her body language, with her attitude, she did amazing. So this is all. All these dead animals. Is that the little girl, or is that the no. tail? We don't know. That's basically yeah. the town. It's like these dead animals have yep. showed up. Jesus. Yep. You're going to have to see. Uh, I love it. So I'm going to check this out for sure. I might even watch this tonight. I'm telling you, Mick, I think you'll, I do think you'll enjoy it, but at the same time, of course, YouTube's going to act like an asshole tonight. So uh, <laughs> I'll watch it later. It looks cool, though. No, it's a definitely an interesting story. Oh, that's not even YouTube. That's why. I'm going to go you know, to YouTube. It's funny. Didn't, didn't we that. just watch another movie recently about how Native Americans weren't, or uh, indigenous people weren't affected by a virus or something? Yep. Oh, I didn't yep. see well, that. Yeah. I checked that um, out. That's what, oh, quantum blood or something? That blood quantum, quantum blood, yep. Blood quantum. Blood quantum. Yeah. That oh, was blood awesome. Quantum. That was fucking awesome. I still got to check that one out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. And the Manitou. Not so much. That was unfortunate. <laughs> that was unfortunate. That was I love that movie. I didn't hate it, but that was something. So I gave it a that, that's one of those movies like it's we were talking about earlier when we were chatting that you just you kind of fall in love with. You know, like you you just like it sucks, but whatever. I love it. You know, I like what's your like while we're doing this and he's pulling up, what's your ultimate <clears throat> guilty pleasure? Movie. Oh, movie? Uh, uh or not, uh, not your ultimate guilty pleasure movie, but maybe the guilty pleasure movie that like you don't really want to tell people. <laughs> oh I I Jesus Christ. I don't think I have one either. Hold on. Because I'm not really ashamed of any movie that I watch and enjoy and love. Liar. Um yeah. okay. <clears throat> There's gotta be one. Dirty dancing. Why are you guilty pleasuring that? That's like a great movie. Everybody loves. I know, I know it's a great movie, but usually, it like, I don't know, because that's the yeah, only thing I can think is closest to it. Other I can't that, accept that because, and the reason he I said I is, can't accept that because mine is uh, oh, uh, Crocodile Dundee three, um, in in Los Angeles. I've never even seen. That. I didn't mind it, that. How is that a guilty pleasure? That's not that bad. shit. That movie. I I. I will watch that whenever it's on TV. I've really? unironically just watched it. I turn it on like Amazon. I <laughs> love that movie, and it is fucking terrible. Wow, it is so bad. Oh, so it's that what you mean, guilty pleasure? So it's a terrible movie that it's a terrible movie oh, that like you're okay. You're okay. afraid to tell people you love. Oh this movie. shit! Okay, I don't. I really don't know. 
there's one. You got turn the ninja teenage mutant ninja turtle story. I don't, I don't love that one. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I would have to say it's from that era. So I, I'm thinking like either like Ninja Turtles three or like fucking three ninjas or fucking three ninjas. No, three ninjas know, was American good, Ninja. Uh, oh, American Ninja was um, good too. Fucking um um Police Academy. I mean, yo, I love fuck. Police Academy. Yo, I, I love Police Academies, man. On don't hate on Police Academies. I, lo- I love them all. I'll watch every single one. Every single one of them. Oh my Three god! Can we do a crossover event, franchise <laughs> versus franchise, and like do Police Academy versus something. Is there something that will match up against it? Uh, Rocky. I mean, I will give full Rocky? credit if you want to do it over on SS uh, or the scene synopsis for anybody listening who doesn't know where I'm from. Uh, <laughs> I give full credit. To Sir Sturdy for it. Pop, I'll, idea. Say give, I'll say give it to Popcorn and Pints. Oh, yeah, do it there. Or or do a split episode of Popcorn and Pints and the scene snobs. No, 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 no. Do it in Popcorn and Pints. Hmm. Have the content. Get the content. Boom. Wait, wait. We said Police Academy versus what? I don't know. I said Rocky, but you could okay. pick something there. I mean, there's I other was, movies that have like. I would try to find something closer to Police Academy. Is what there up, any Chad? other franchise Enjoy, something Chad. to do with police Appreciate or you. anything like that? Comedy franchises. Let's think. Comedy. Comedy franchises. Let's think. Let's think. Um, I'm thinking like I'm thinking like Lethal Weapon versus Beverly Hills Cop. That's a good one. That's a good one. That that's matches a good up. One. Yeah, that matches up. And Ooh. actually, you should wait on that. And here's why: because Beverly Hills Cop Four is coming. Oh shit! Yes, it is. And everyone's back for it. I'm excited. And uh, um. Lethal Weapon 5 is going. Really? Yeah. They're Mel all in walkers, man. Me. Fucking jumping out of airplanes and shit. It makes <laughs> <sense>. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. I mean, I, I'm down for that. And I we do and we do need a second versus for popcorn and pints. The first one we're not telling you yet. Yeah. That surprise. As a matter of fact, you want to know how you can hear about the first one? Tune into our Patreon. That $5 Ooh. tier. We may bring it up on there. We may not. But that's where you'll that's where you'll find out information about shit that we're gonna be doing on our lives and stuff because we're kind of we're gonna be changing some things up on on a popcorn and pints as well to kind of make it more boom, give it more pizzazz, all that fun stuff. So you're gonna want to pay attention. You wanna pay attention to those patrons. But yeah, um let's jump in. I'm gonna dive into these ratings. These are ratings now, so yeah. Again, yeah. I did really enjoy this movie. Overall, I had a good time with this movie. You cut off the last five minutes of it, five to ten minutes of it, whenever that shit happened. I like it even better. Um, again, if the acting was better, I feel like the story would have been told a hell of a lot better. And no disrespect when I say that, just, you know, more experience. If there was more experienced people, more experienced team. And uh, with that being said, and with my little tips about the movie, I'll probably drop it down two points. So I'm going to give it a s- I'm going to give it a six. I'm going to give it a six. Hmm. But with the right, I feel like it could be an eight, easily be an eight, my opinion. But hmm. let's see what Chris thinks. I'm actually like almost right in line with you. And I was thinking the same thing change out the acting, get us a little bit better of a character portrayal and like emotional connection to some of the things that are occurring on screen. But cinematography was pretty good lighting stuff like that the the few little jumps or whatever that were there decent enough story had cohesiveness so i mm-hmm. can't complain i i'm right there with sturdy so with me if you change the acting give us a little bit of a better ending we're looking at a seven eight movie all day but for me it was a five on this one a five okay okay and uh james it wames it same thing I was going if it better acting and if the ending wasn't so cheesy, it would definitely be an eight because the story I really liked where they went. Mm-hmm. I like that whole idea was great. Um, but I'm going to give it a six. If the ending was okay. better, it would be a seven. Yeah. But Agreed. because of the acting and the ending, I'll give it a six. I do want to, you know what? I'll bring myself up big for this one too. I do want to say this though, like, say if you had different actors and actresses in this movie, 
I would honestly still keep the little girl in this movie. No, she did. She good. wasn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Like no. she was. She she was great. She was the yeah. best, and she was the best part of this movie. Like for her role, she sold that role so well. So congratulations to her. She did amazing. Yeah, it was but, more so I mean, the dad and everybody else around the circle of the main. You know what I mean? Yeah, especially the dad. Like I, I feel like oh, I feel like this is gonna be so disrespectful when I say this, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like besides the little girl, this movie had like a bunch of actors that should be more like side actors Mm -hmm. so to speak and i don't mean any disrespect when i say that i'm saying if this for the story to really be told told to really take it to that level Mm. i feel like these guy characters would be like maybe the side characters of that film but and maybe even less than that and less of the characters i i don't know because again i did really like the movie and they Mm -hmm. did a good job in this movie it's just this movie could have been to me again like i said in eight with more experience with more experienced people connected with this movie nipples would help nipples would help um so i was doing a little research while you guys were giving your ratings word what happened and i came up with two possibilities to go up against the police academy movies okay here we go um there are seven main muppet movies <laughs> and we could also do kevin smith's movies because they're all in universe Mm-hmm. So, and then just watch them huh. through and like judge on like what's the better movie, what's the better comedy, stuff like that. Hmm. Interesting, because they're all essentially sequels. They're all connected yeah. all the way through. So yeah. you know, that's true. You they new are. franchise, new franchise, and the same with the Muppets. You know, because there's mm-hmm. not a lot of movies that have seven movies. That's but true. Police Academy has a lot. That, I was looking at the same thing. I was like, is there any like cop franchise like comedies out there? Nothing beats Police Academy. Police Academy has like seven. Everything else is like fucking like three, four of them. You're like, oh, come on. What about another similar similar style? If you couldn't find another police comedy, which I think would actually would be a great matchup or whatever. But another uh, similar similar style? No, there is no other police ones. Yeah, there no. really is no, no other. Is Not, it? You can do Beverly Hills Cop. There before, but... uh. And I, 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 Ace Ventura popped up. I was like, "There's not enough of those. There's only like what two, three, two, think, three yeah. of them." Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then if you even I, I, I know it's. Yeah, there really isn't Rush Hour. What is there? Three. Yeah, because the first seven movies in Kevin Smith just to throw it out there is Clerk, Small Rats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back. Um, so it's five, oh, fuck. and then you, Jersey Girl and Clerks Two. But is that what's the Clerks movie that just came out? Is that two, three, yeah, three? Clerks Three. Hmm. So, and you know, you guys pick those, like you know, whatever you want, like hmm. or fun, we can find or Rocky again, Rocky. But it's not. A, it's a I don't care time. what goes against, but I'm definitely down for Police Academies. Uh, I used to <laughs> die. Like I love police academies. I watched them so many times when I was younger. We should do that. We should. So what? I, what I do want to do because you guys already know I'm doing the whole versus thing. I'm not going to announce what I'm doing for April or October, but I feel like we should do something similar with popcorn and pints. Like every few months, do a, which I know we have one planned for January, which I'm not going to say on the live. But then we're already talking about police academy with something, so you know, yeah. We'll figure it out on that. Oh, man. You know, it'd be a good one. Oh. What's that? Drop the fourth one. If you didn't want to do Lethal Weapon 4, and you were cool with that, you could do RoboCop versus Lethal Weapon. Mm. That'd be weird and interesting. What about RoboCop versus... Uh, oh, there's only two of those, though. Three. Three. There's three of the circuit movies? And there's a remake. No, no, no. No, I'm talking about... No, the RoboCop and the... Uh... Johnny Five, short, oh, circuit. short, circuit? short only circuit. Two. Yeah, there's only two short circuits. They're, make, they're remaking that. Yeah, they're remaking mm-hmm. that. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, dude, there's I, so I many. There's so many franchises that are hitting me in the face right now. Because I would do Back to the Future, but I'll never go against it. There's no movies <laughs> like I'm telling you right now. I'll watch. Yeah, but against watch. what? What other time it, movies I don't are there? Planet of the Apes. Fucking like. Oh my yeah. god. No. Oh yeah. Didn't we have a plan for Planet of the Apes? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say the other one, though. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
But but Back to the Future. What would go against Back to the Future? I do yeah, want to do the Police Academy. It'll have to something to do with. It has to be something with movies with Hellraiser. With time. <laughs> Hellraiser. With that, time travel to, or something. It, it, it it got got to be that, time would be, that would be that would be fair. Like say if you came on those episodes with us and you're like, yo, I'm giving all these movies a ten. That's fair because those are, you love those movies. There's nothing wrong with that. I love them. I love them. But just to watch another franchise, maybe it's a franchise you don't care about as much. Of well, of course, it's like your favorite. But you, you know can't I mean. go RoboCop because Back to the Future is number one on my top ten movies of all time. It's That's number fair. one. It's it's it will always Ooh. be number one. Nothing will ever take it out. But number eight or, is Robocop. <laughs> so that's in my top I, ten too. I know the point of these verses were to have a series and fill out some content, but what about doing some type of a train zombie horror versus train zombie horror? So like train to Busan versus something else, you know what I mean? Type of deal. I like that. Uh I the only thing I would I would say is like maybe shake it up. And do like bullet train versus Ooh. train to Busan. You know what I mean? That's funny. Mm. That's funny. That by, the way, oh, dude, that's by the way, that, 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 that's in the process right now. The remake, the New York uh, train to Busan thing. The New hey, York. Man, what about yeah. cartoons? Police Academy cartoon and a real Gus. Oh shit! Oh. Wait a, a minute. One. Time out. There was a Police Academy cartoon. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah it was good too. It was pretty good. I don't remember I that. What? Listen, we but listen, 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 listen. Here's here's the I, thing. We I have had a Michael Winslow movies. fucking toy. Yeah, and and dude, Bubba, ah. yeah, they had a Bubba Smith, uh, um, toy, and they had a car, a police car, and when you hit it a certain way, it broke in half. Nice. That's fucking awesome. I had it. <laughs> Fuck. That's cool. Yo, you guys remember that cartoon that fucking what's his face voice? He, it was a tiger or a, what the fuck was it? A bobcat? Yeah, bobcat. It was a bobcat. That was a cop, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bonker. Bonker. Oh, Bonker. 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 Yeah, Bonker. Yeah, Bonkers. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. my shit. The I samurai love Bonkers, cat. Dude. Yo, if you hear shit, fuck this. I'm putting this out there. I didn't talk to any of my co hosts about the popcorn and pints. We're going to do a cartoon throwback Patreon. We I'm with it. I'm with it. I love that. I love that. Yes. There's so many you can do. Oh my god. I'm thinking That's about gonna be right gonna be Bro, man. They it's just re-released Gargoyles in HD. We got the Batman anime series. Oh, oh my, my god. god. No, so dude, many. you gotta go deeper, man. You gotta bring them in with some other crazy shit. Centurion. Man. Muppet We're gonna babies. Take oh my god, the Muppet Babies. Don't fuck oh my god, Muppet dude. Babies. Yo, stop it. Stop it. That's my I love shit. it. I love the cartoon version of it. I'd watch that. That was my sh- yo. I used to have the books. I used to have the little books. Mm-hmm. I love that it. ass. Fozzie oh, was always yeah. Fozzie was my dude. Fozzie and Gonzo were my two favorite Muppets. Yeah, bro. that should be your rewatch. Is find the ones that failed, right? Like the uh um, Tiny Toons, Animaniacs, yeah. fucking hey. So Animaniacs is back. They have yeah, they now. brought that back. Yeah, it's on Hulu. Yeah, yeah, but but still the OG oh fucking. God. There you go, Fat Albert. You do Fat Albert. You remember that alphabet song? Fucking the Animaniacs? Babies. What, the countries? The fucking all the countries? I, yep. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Could do Police uh, Academy cartoon against cops. I know the Ghostbuster uh, cartoon was cool. I like that cartoon. That was awesome. You know the uh, Ghostbuster cartoon is a continuation from the movies. I know now. Really? really? I know now. Yeah. I didn't know so, that. I was just watching the show. <laughs> If you watch the first episode, I mean, of course, it goes into cartoon form. It's it's more wacky and such, but uh, lots of good episodes, though. But if you watch the first episode, they're coming in after the 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 fight in uh, on top of the building. So and so they're coming in after that. They're wearing a tan, and they're all messed up. So they put them in a box and put on their new uniforms, and that's all the different colors. Oh, huh. Do you know Ernie Hudson auditioned to play Winston on that and they said that he uh, doesn't fit so they hired an Arsenio Hall. That makes no sense. It really makes no sense. That's he but he talks about play it. The He's exact like, character that he played in the movie. Yeah, but he talks about it and he says nobody knew who I was. I didn't go out on the the tours and things like that not until the second one because it was the guys. They were the first one and I was being added in. Yeah. Um so he's like, I wasn't part of the main marketing. I wasn't a star. You know, they were the stars. And I think he felt left out on it. He's talked about it. But, you know, it, it's been made up for and stuff like that. And plus, he's it's Winston. 
you know mm-hmm. the fans are hey, not yeah. wow. real quick i just got a scream from the fucking rooftops i finally did it y'all i finally passed a thousand fucking followers on tiktok i'm at a thousand yeah. eleven followers on tiktok yeah. and finally no, finally have live, live access are doing some live, man. Yeah. Go. yeah you know TikTok dude, live, live. Right? celebrate oh. want to do live sometime well hell yeah, yeah hell yeah Hell yeah. Bro, I've been waiting too. I got I got touched by two uh agencies <laughs> this week, and I was like, let me hold out because I'm so close. Because I'm so close. Let me hold out. Fuck it. It feels so good to earn shit. There you go. Dude, why don't <sighs> we get like we're going live with the Marvel thing tomorrow? We should go live on TikTok. I'm good with it. There you go. <laughs> the latest in part two where Slimer's just flying around the headquarters and Lois tried to catch him, but Janine, mm-hmm, tell him that she just flies around and he, he's fine. What? Delete scene in Ghostbusters 2 is what he's saying. There's a delete gotcha. scene. That's why he becomes a pal. They're like, yeah, he's okay. He can let him free. He's not doing nothing. He's just <laughs> going around eating shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you, guys. Everybody here has played a role. Oh, you guys, can you make me big real quick? I want to show you something. I did something recently in honor of the new trailer coming out and being I'm loving Ghostbusters so much. Can you see anything maybe around somewhere? Hang on. Different hang on. No. Hang on, hang I... on. Hang on. You can't see it? Any no. of them? Is that is there a little Oh yes, mar- the through? marshmallow man on the left. Yep. I they're see all it. they're all over. Yep. <laughs> well, oh, looks, shit. oh shit. Yeah, there is. Yeah, you do. Holy crap. I hid them all over the set. That's, That's awesome. Who cares? That's Fuck awesome. You. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to push him back. I'm trying to make it smaller. <laughs> Dick, that was so good, though. <laughs> like, who cares? Who cares? Because right. you have that. You can do that voice really. Who cares? Mm-hmm. And it's just like, oh, it cuts like a knife. You should have made it a contest. How many are, is, everybody had to find every one of them? Well, that's the funny thing. I, I have all 10. So funny story about these. They came out in uh, what was it 2021 when you know they were uh, or 2020 when they were doing a movie and such, and they were all Funko Pops. So like uh, exclusive. So you had to go to different stores to get them. And so I collected them all, but I couldn't find the one for 7-Eleven, which is the thing eating a pizza. Mm-hmm. I like call my brother up because he's always going to 7-Elevens when he's on duty and stuff. I'm like, go to a 7-Eleven, see if you can find this thing. He found it. He still has it. Nice. We always yeah. forget to he like to trade off because I have one for him too. So yeah, but needless to say, that's not here. <laughs> you you need to get that, Mick. You need to, you need to get that next time you see your brother. He's doing you something. He wants you. Wants you he wants you to go to Jersey to visit. No, he's he's only like an hour and a half away. Oh. I still I do see him. We just always forget to trade him. Uh-huh. Listen, aren't you going to see him on Thanksgiving? No, no. When he is worked. Thanksgiving? Thursday. Next Thursday. <laughs> you just realize that now. <laughs> Stop. It is, man. There's no stop about it. It's, it's next Thursday. <laughs> it's coming on you quick, man. It is. What's it it, really today's is. what? The, today's it's the coming 16th. on me quick. I mean, oh, yeah. you don't want it to just dribble real slow. You kind of want it to just blast you and be over and done, don't you? You're getting blasted oh, by that turkey man. gravy. There you go. Blast. Don't ruin my Thanksgiving. <laughs> You skeet, 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 You're gonna get stuffed in skeet, fucking skeet. gravy. Did oh, <laughs> she say skeet skeet? That's the noise that it makes when you're basting the turkey. Skeet, wow. skeet. Wow. He's I'm not so, wrong. I'm so uh <laughs> I'm, sorry, what about I'm so addicted to all the things you do when you're basing <laughs> all on me. But people listen. Go check this movie out. It was definitely, definitely worth it. Don't I do, do it. recommend it, even though I gave it a six. I do Nobody recommend cares. it. Everybody cares. Don't listen to <laughs> it. Um, yeah, go check out the Harbinger. This one, though. This one. Yeah, I don't know anything about one. I don't know I don't anything about the other one. The Harbinger. If but there's a little have... girl carrying a knife who looks weird. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. The other one has like a dark blackish, bluish, really dark Had with a figure known... on the cover but and there yeah. were two of these it looked like war, war of the worlds type looking fucking thing on the cover had i known about both of these movies that this would have been a versus easily but i just realized it too damn late you know i'll pay attention to that stuff next time though people yeah. don't worry about it it's true don't it's worry true. about it but Check uh out. nipples included <laughs> jesus christ 
we're gonna wrap this up. So do a like quick round table. Let everybody know where they can be found. And then we're Stamp Gamer ever over on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Kick. You already know. Come have a good time with me. Catch me over on the Raidathon happening on Black Friday. You're gonna see this asshole here too in the red over here in the middle on that day as well, a part of it. So mm-hmm. I'm going to be in the early shift, though, mad early. So if you're up 6 a.m., I got you from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Let's go. God damn. Dig it. Dig it, dig it. What's up? I'm the scene snob. Thank you so much for uh, watching this tonight. We're having a lot of fun. So I didn't see the movie, so I didn't have a lot to offer. Normally I do, though. <laughs> but if you guys you know, like the vibe or you want to come over, join the Snob Nation community, head over and uh, like the scene snobs and check out the shows. All right. I'll be in my room crying in fetal position. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> now you catch me on, uh, of course, Hair Horrors for 30 Tuesday, Thursdays, and Popcorn Points on Saturdays. And on the corner outside your nearest methadone clinic. <laughs> <laughs> All those places are true. But yeah, like he said, every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 o'clock Eastern time, you can catch Horror Research 30 live. And every Tuesday and Thursday at midnight, the episode from last week drops on the audio. Just letting you guys know this. I'm going to try to remember to say this. So if you guys listen to the audio the day that the audio drops, you know. In case you want to fall asleep from my lovely voice. (laughs) Go listen to that live later. Go listen to that live later. And just so we can uh, prove the point. (laughs) (laughs) Listen, and if you don't want to hear Worst Damn Gamer's voice, press one for English. That's all. Just drop it in the chat. Just hit one. Send a message. Let them know. Vote with your keyboard. Did you notice how the white guys are hiding their faces after you said it? Like, uh, yeah, no, everybody no, collectively heard us say it. Yep. Oh, man. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's all right. It wasn't those people this time. It was funny. I do want to give. <laughs> we didn't even say that. I said it wasn't <laughs> those people this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did forget to do this for the whole episode, but I am switching this up. So by next Nobody episode, it will cares. be different. It will be um, scrolling, like after the episode's <laughs> over, kind of like you know when a show goes off. Be giving thank you to patrons and all that shit, just because you can only fit so many characteristics on this anyway. Like credits, so, yeah. We're gonna have our credit. Yeah. Boom! There you go. Thank you for watching you and have credits rolling. <laughs> yep, I have credits too. If you're over on Twitch, biddies for titties, biddies for titties. Biddies for titties. uh, Hey, what's uh, going on? I'm Mick Manhattan working at Lust tonight over in West Virginia. Come check me out. I'm going to ride the pole, baby. Uh, And it could be yours for $3.99. I got a magic trick. I stay on a pole without holding out with any feet or hands. How am I doing it? (laughs) Wow, this is getting wild, people. Wait, 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 wait. So I can get shit off my wish list by swiping down your crack? I'm confused. Your card's going to get stuck in there. The vines are going to grab it.